Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Project Vagrant. In this week's video, we're going to show you how to cut and lay the subfloor. Before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We got a big, or not really a big, but a little surge of subscribers uh, this past week, which was awesome. If you guys have any feedback for our videos, if there's anything we could improve on or change or that you would like to see, drop a comment. We would really appreciate it. Shoot us a message on Instagram, whatever you guys prefer. We really want to provide the most value we can to you guys. So just let us know what you think. All right, guys, so I just cut all the expanded spray foam to be flat. And now I'm gonna use these pieces of cardboard from our solar panels to make templates to cut the subfloor. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use a marker, and I'm gonna use a leveler, which doesn't really have to be a leveler, but just something that I can tape the marker to. And what I'm gonna do is, imagine this is my hand right here is the wall. I'm gonna push it against it and then just run it as evenly as I can across it. And I'm gonna watch this to make sure I don't tilt it too much. And that's gonna make a pretty close uh, tracing of the exact curve I need for the wheel well on the cardboard. If you still have the wooden floor that came with your van, it's much easier to just trace that. Unfortunately, we no longer had ours. All right, so here's what I've got. Should work fine enough. The tool worked okay. It would have been perfect if the level was longer. As you can see from the visual representation on the left is what would happen if the level was longer, a perfect fit but since my level was short, it ended up not reaching the van wall. It fits, guys. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. I'm so flipping excited. All right. I'm going to go grab a bite to eat, and we'll be back to it. As always, guys, everything we use in this video is going to be linked in the description below. So if you're curious about any of the tools or bits or saw blades, just check out the description. I got a question for you guys. If you're building a van, or you're in the process of building your van, or you've built a van, what was the most difficult part for you? I'm curious. Leave a comment down below with the answer. Still gonna have to come back and trim this piece. I'm thinking about leaving it because I think we're gonna have the fridge roll out right here. So it's really not gonna bother anything, but as you can see, that edge is pretty good. I need to clean up a little bit of that spray foam. Nice and lined up. Alright guys, it is time to screw the subfloor down to the framing. So what I'm going to use is some number six one inch Spax screws and a chalk line or chalk reel to mark where the framing's at. You guys will see that now. Set you up and we'll get into it. So this is the chalk reel. Basically you just open this little compartment here. You take this powdered chalk, pour it in there, give it a little squeeze, close it. I shake it up a little bit. I really don't know if that matters or if it's needed. I've never used one before and it doesn't have instructions. Shake it up a little and then what you wanna do is there's a little reel, so you'll expand the line out and then you'll pull it tight and then you can actually snap it and you're about to see that. So 
So a quick look at what we've got. Line there. Line down here. It's pretty faint here, but I can see it. And there's my sweat. You can see dripping. <laughs> got 30 spack screws. I think that should be enough. I meant to buy two of these, but apparently um, the pack behind here was not the same. And I got number six, one inch and a fourth. So that's too long and too small. So. Should be good. And just like that guys, we've got the subfloor bolted down. This is awesome, it's not squeaking anymore before I bolted it down, or screwed it down rather. If you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week. Thank you again, bye.